YouTube. Anyway, um, yeah, just out in Niagara Falls with a buddy of mine. I uh, figured we'd come to somewhere completely different and get some landscape. Blah, blah, lamb. Mm, I'm really, really hungry right now. That's all I'm thinking about is food, lamb, landscapes. Mm. Anyway, well, I wanted to come out and get some landscapes, and if we happen to see any wildlife or anything, then uh, that as well. And uh, went on a hike. Not really uh, doing video while we're walking because it's just way too much. Uh, but I'm just going to basically narrate the video as the photos go by and explain things, and that's about it. So let's go! So this was an absolutely terrible idea to start all the way in the gorge because uh, after we were done our legs were rubbery, our lungs were burning, we could barely breathe. We should have actually started in the tourist area to get the street photography and stuff done and then finish the day up here. Uh, but either way, lesson learned. Uh, it was interesting though, there were you know people you can see there uh, practicing rock climbing and things like that and then we walked all the way down right by the lake itself. Uh, it was pretty cool, man. It's a lot of wilderness out there, and it's actually, it's absolutely beautiful, but yeah, we shouldn't have started there. We should have ended there. Yeah, so when we arrived at the gorge, oh man, the view was absolutely mind-boggling. Like, just the depth of the rock face and the amount of, like, just the lake and the view, just absolutely amazing. So this was, uh, this was actually a passageway uh, to get down into the gorge, and we had to wait for other people to come from the other side. It's very narrow. And uh, here's my buddy looking around for some photographic opportunities as we're just hiking along on uh, the jagged rock areas and stuff. And uh, yeah, when we got down to the lake, out of nowhere, the Whirlpool jet tour boat came out. I was like, oh my God, what is that? Just literally appeared out of nowhere. And uh, yeah, so you know, I just decided I'd do a little, uh, a quick mini macro type of photo of uh, some well, I guess greenery, and uh, yeah, this is uh, one of the landscape shots I took, uh, showing the actual uh, area uh, within the gorge where we were, and this was when we were heading back, and we really did not want to have to climb up all those stairs, because, I mean, my legs were already dead, but it was a great time, and uh, from there we moved on to street photography. So here we have a uh, protest against the Rainforest Cafe and Hard Rock Cafe. And uh, the protesters were not allowing people to cross the picket line, which is a shame because the Rainforest Cafe is a really great place to eat. And I definitely say you should check it out. And on uh, this photo here, I, I know most street photography is black and white, but I wanted to showcase the colors because they're just so vibrant and so full of life. I just thought it was a great perspective. And this guy here was giving away these beads. If you paid a certain amount of money, you'd get a certain amount of beads. And I'm tossed up as to the color or black and white. Um, and this one here is some weird zombie thing on a bench. Well, that poor little girl. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just something cool to take a picture of. And uh, this one here is, uh, you know, the typical Canadians drinking their coffee. And they got photobombed by a gorilla in the background. Uh, that was kind of different and this one's the games that we play as a society you have the one guy looking at the uh, street guy and everyone else ignoring him uh, so that was an interesting perspective and then we've got the uh, zip liner people uh, doing that craziness uh, just wanted to catch some of that action and this one here I was lucky to get it was a burst of three shots uh, the, nothing in the first one got it perfect in the second one nothing in the third one so it was perfect timing and uh, this one here, uh, this is way off the beaten path, just randomly on a road. Uh, this guy with no head. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. And, of course, the American Falls uh, from the Canadian side. Uh, this was a 30-image composite in camera. Um, yeah. Wouldn't be complete without the actual shot of the Canadian Falls, so here they are. And then as we were leaving Niagara... We stopped off at the infamous, uh, I guess, abandoned or shipwrecked ship thing. Uh, I've always wanted to take a shot of that, and this was the time I was able to actually do it. And that's pretty much it for the trip to Niagara Falls.